Hey everybody, it's me, Kevin Smalls, and as usual, I am so excited about our young adult clergy who are serving in the life of the church. You mean everything to us, and I do these conversations sometimes because I always wanted someone to be able to share some of these things with me, and I certainly want to share some of these things with you. So today I just want to talk a little bit about jealousy, uh, jealousy in the ministry and progressing through the itinerant life. Um, I wish it weren't so, but from time to time, I run across conversations about how some are a little angry at other people for some of the appointments they have, some of the perceived promotions that they have received, or some of the accolades that they've received, you won't have to look far sometimes to find someone mad at somebody for getting a new opportunity in the ministry. And here's one way I suggest that we can deal with that with ourselves individually. We're all human. We all want to be recognized. We all want to be honored even. We all want to really uh, be rewarded for good work. But at its core and at its base, ministry is hard, gut-wrenching work. Anything less than that, there will be no results. Ministry is hard, gut-wrenching work. And it is a waste of time to look around and be obsessed with who's going to the big churches, who's going to the cabinet, who's been elected to the Episcopacy, and why did they get elected, and why would they be sent to that church? Um, that's really a useless conversation. Because the truth is, if you want a big church, you can have one. You really can. You just have to grow it. You have to do the work for growing and cultivating your own people. You have to be seen walking in the neighborhoods. You have to be seen caring uh, for the elderly in your congregation, giving reasons for the youth and young adults to show up. You have to constantly build bridges and you have to sustain gossip and negative feedback and people not getting on board. All of these things are critical to church growth. And when you are engaged in this kind of work, you hardly have time to recognize who's going where and who's going there. And before you know it, you will be the persons that go there and that go where. So if I were you, and what I try to tell myself is, is to work where you are. Take that as an opportunity to do an awesome thing for God, even if it's where you will retire, even if it's where you will spend your whole career and your whole ministry. It's really hard to do effective ministry while you're looking at the next place to go to. And instead of trying to grow in positions and in power, grow in faith and God will reward those who are faithful. I've often heard people even say about me that I always get what I want, that I get the appointments that everybody wants, and I'm not sure about that, but I can see why people think it might be easy. Probably because they weren't there when so many banks told us no, that we couldn't build and we couldn't get a loan, even though we had begun the project already. They weren't there when all kinds of negative information was circling around my intentions and my family and my ministry. They weren't there during those seasons that people said they weren't being fed by my ministry and by my preaching. They weren't there in those painful moments when it felt like I couldn't keep the church together and I couldn't keep people on the same page. They were not there when I would cry at night trying to figure out how I can make an impact to these people who don't seem to be receiving my ministry and my gift sets and my skills. They weren't there during those times that people would rise up against me and 
call my superiors and 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 make all kinds of complaints. They they weren't there. Sometimes the only thing they saw is the people joining church and the choirs growing and the building elevating and enlarging and expanding. They saw the surface stuff, but they didn't see the hard core stuff underneath. And you know what? People won't see yours either. And it's not meant for them to see. Grow where you are. Serve the people without ceasing. Strive to grow in faith. And these positions that you think you want will become less seductive. And the real ministry at hand will be ever before you. And you will not be able to wait until you get to that next soul wondering, is there a word from the Lord today? May God bless you as you sojourn in this marvelous path and never, ever forget that you're not alone. The Lord is with you. He undergirds you and he gives you sustenance for the days ahead. God bless you.